so. Journey to Eudaimonia, travel as a mode for understanding society. My practice is concerned with the essential meaning of place and identity through the displacement experience of travel and the extension of that experience into fiction as manifest in video and photography in contemporary art. Quote, this is a quote from Alain de Botton from a book entitled The Art of Travel. If our lives are dominated by a search for happiness, then perhaps few activities reveal as much about the dynamics of this quest in all its ardor and paradoxes than our travels. They express, however inarticulately, an understanding of what life might be about outside the constraints of work and the struggle for survival. Yet rarely are they considered to present philosophical problems. That is, issues requiring thought beyond the practical. We are inundated with advice on where to travel. We hear little of why or how we should go. Though the art of travel seems naturally to sustain a number of questions neither so simple nor so trivial, and whose study might in modest ways contribute to an understanding of what the Greek philosophers beautifully termed eudaimonia, or human flourishing. How do you learn about a place? The most significant blows are struck with the left hand. I've come to believe that the best way to get at the meaning of a place is through indirect means, by sneaking up behind the more obvious understandings. Using a sideways glance alongside the historical, cultural assumptions that pre-exist. Through examining displacement, I learn about place. I will show you a series of images from Prague, and they are photographs from an airplane window. They are titled, You Can't Walk on Water, You Can't Sleep on Clouds. So I attempt to understand the experience of displacement. Like an anthropologist, I gather evidence around me. I photograph, videotape, interview, discuss, and log my experiences. I build a constellation of methods towards exploring and even reveling in a state of dislocation. Here are two images from New York, also photographed from an airplane, entitled, Waking Up in the City That Never Sleeps. The next two, entitled, Above Berlin, also photographed from the airplane. Tell me about visiting another place, I ask of others. This is the question I pose in landmark videos, 2004 to 2008. In these videos, I bring my camera to landmark sites and have a local resident of that city or place tell me a story from their travels. These videos are an example of one way to try to get a handle on a place, a way of using insider-outsider meanings to begin unpacking the complex interrelationships of a place and a particular history, fluid and subject to changing cultural influences over time.